So you want to be a pro bender. Yeah! Uh, yes! The excitement and exhilaration of the ring is calling you. But pro bending is an intricate and robust sport adored by thousands of fans. You don't want to step into that ring until you are thoroughly prepared. Welcome to the official Pro Bending Training Series. Today, we'll be taking an in-depth look at the fundamentals of the sport. First off, what is pro bending? That sport is a mockery of the noble tradition of bending. Simply put, it's a local Republic City sport in which two teams face off in an epic battle of bending. The game is played on an irregular hexagon-shaped ring over a pool of water. Each team starts in zone one on their respective side of the ring, and the benders work to push their opponents towards the back of the ring. If a player is knocked backwards and into the next zone, they must remain in that zone. And if all three players on one team are knocked out of a zone, the opposing team is allowed to advance forward. For example, in this clip, you can see the Tiger Dillos knocking Bolin and Hasuk into zone two. From this point forward, neither player is permitted to cross back into zone one. Once Mako is also knocked into zone two, a green light will indicate that the Tiger Dillos may advance. If a player is knocked over the back of the ring, they cannot return to the match until the next round. When all three members of one team are knocked off the ring in the same round, that team loses and the match is over. This is referred to as a knockout. He did it! Yeah! However, a knockout isn't the only way to win a match. If neither team is knocked out of the ring, the team that wins more rounds determines the match victor. So let's talk about matches. A match consists of three rounds, with each round lasting for three minutes. When the three minutes are up, the team that's gained the most territory wins the round. If neither team gained any territory, the round is determined by which team has more players remaining in their zone. But remember, if at any point one team knocks the entirety of the other team off the ring, it's a knockout, and that team wins the entire match. What a wing-binger of a hat-trick, folks! Mako pulls off the upset of the season, winning the match for the Fire Ferret! Regardless of how many rounds the other team has won. For example, in this clip, even though the Fire Ferrets had lost the first two rounds, when Korra knocks all three of the Buzzard Wasps out of the ring, it's a knockout. What a knockout! Ending the entire match and securing a win for the Fire Ferrets. Yeah! It didn't seem possible, folks, but the Fire Ferrets are headed to the finals! Ha-ha! <laughs> shoulder, shoulder! Sorry. Now that you understand the basics, let's go over some fouls. Players must not step over the line between zones. Doing so results in a good fault. Foul! Over the line! Move back to zone three! Uh, I'll show you over the line. Players may not intentionally hit anyone outside of the ring. That should go without saying. And players may only be knocked off the back of the ring and never over the sides. Fire ferret, waterbender, penalty. Move back, one zone. What? Why? You're only allowed to knock players off the back of the ring, not over the sides. Oh, whoops. Intentional breaking of any of these rules could result in being shown a yellow fan. A warning from the referee about breaking the rules. Continued breaking of rules could result in a red fan, which means ejection from the match. If a player is ejected, their teammates must finish the match one player short. Yeah, so you don't want to get ejected. So who plays on a pro bending team? Each team is required to have one and only one bender of each of the three elements. Air bending is not included. In the unlikely event that one player is the avatar, they must be restricted to bending only one element. The avatar will be permitted to continue so long as she solely bends water. Let's go over the specific rules for each position, starting with water benders. Each water blast must not exceed one second in duration. What's the big idea, ref? That was a hosing foul. Water can only be used in a liquid state. Looks like Tano snuck in an illegal icing move. And water can only be drawn from the grates in the zone lines and never from over the sides of the ring. As for fire benders, each fire blast must also not exceed one second in duration. No fire strikes are permitted at an opponent's head. Oh, come on! Those were illegal headshots! Open your eyes, ref! And no additional variations of fire bending, such as lightning bending or combustion bending, are permitted. 
And finally, for the earthbending rules. Like firebenders, earthbenders are not permitted to take headshots. No metal bending or other specialized forms of earthbending are allowed. Earthbenders may only bend specialized clay discs pulled from the dispensers placed throughout the ring. Clay discs may only be pulled from a dispenser in the zone the bender is currently standing in. And clay discs cannot be broken or changed in any way. Oh, this has gone too far! That water had rocks in it! Breaking of any of these rules could also result in a yellow or red fan. Finally, let's talk about tiebreakers. In the event that a round ends in a deadlock, meaning there is an equal number of players in the ring with neither team having gained any territory, the round must be decided by a face-off. The winner of a coin toss decides which element will face off. The Fire Ferrets win the coin toss. Which element do you choose? I'm taking this one. Let's go! And each team's bender of that element must battle to knock one another off a small raised platform using bending or grappling only. No physical striking, such as a punch or a kick, is allowed. The player who falls off the platform first loses the tiebreaker. Another strike from Bolin and Chang's in the drink! The future industry is fire! Ferrets win their quarterfinal match! And that's about everything you need to know about pro bending to get started. Let's watch a full round and see how it plays out. With the Rabaroos down two rounds, they'll need a knockout to win. And with the way the Fire Ferrets are playing, I don't see that happening. <sighs> These Ferrets are working together like a well-oiled bending machine. <laughs> Colin bashes Adi into zone two, and the Ferrets get the green light to advance. <laughs> the Rabaroos are just fighting to stay on their feet at this point. Down goes Adi and Ula and Omi. you're ready to start your pro bending career. Let us know what position you'd play in the comments below. And stay tuned for more training videos to help you become a true pro.